guys and welcome to this week's Tuesday Tip. This week I'm going to show you how to change your title and tagline. One of the most important parts of your website is the title and your tagline, which appear at the top of every web page. Over time you may decide you want to change your title and or tagline. So here's how to do it. Alright guys, so we're going to start out in our layout tab. This is where when you sign into your administration page, this is always where you start out. So you don't actually need to click anywhere, you are already in the space you need to be. So here's the layout page. You're going to scroll down and you see website header. The website header is the top part of each web page that is common for all pages. It contains a title and a tagline. So first things we're going to look at is our website title. It's common here to just have your name um, or you can say Connie Hackett's artwork in this example or art by Connie Hackett, whatever you want the, the title of your website to be. For this case I'm just going to leave it as my name. Um, so also the things you can do is you can change the font and the size of the font. Um, spacing, you change color, so we'll go through each one. So right now the font that I've got is Able, it's one of my saved fonts. So I'm just going to change it to Arial, just so you can see, you can make changes if you need to. Um, it's already a default size, but I want it a little bit bigger. So these are all the sizes that you have to choose from, so I'm going to choose 40, nice and big. The spacing, I'm good with the spacing, but you can change it. What I recommend doing is just kind of playing around with the different options and hitting save, and then going back to look at your page to see if you like the changes you've made, and then if you don't, you can always go back and make changes. Nothing set in stone. Um, one thing you can do is also change color. Um, if you want to just use the default colors in the little boxes, you just check the one, or if you want to make a custom color, you see the little dot here? You just hold down your mouse, like click on it, hold it down, and then that just makes a custom tone and you can see the color changing in this box here. So I'll say I want that green color, I'm going to hit choose, changes the color, but for this case I'm just going to leave it as black, just because I like black. You can make it bold, or you can make it italic, or you can have a shadow on it. So I'm just going to keep it simple. And then here in the tagline, um, basically the, what we say here is it's a short phrase that represents your website in a few words. So it's important to take some time to think about this as it's important in ranking and search engines. So you guys always hear about SEO or search engine optimization. This is where this really um, comes in handy. So for me, I'll just say something simple just because, you know, you guys, you guys will be able to come up with creative titles for me in this example case. I'll just say, welcome to my website. <laughs> All right, and so I'm happy with the changes. Now this font is still the Able font. I'm just gonna leave it as is because you guys saw the changes that I can make. Um, you can do the same thing if you wanted to make your tagline bigger than your title, you can do that. It might look a little weird, but you can do it. Um, so you've got options here. So I'm gonna do update website layout and header. That refreshes my page, and now I'm gonna look at my website and see. Back to have made the changes that I want. And that has how you update your title and tagline. That's it for this week's Tuesday tip. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and comment below with any questions you may have and would like answered in future videos. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you're watching this on Facebook, make sure you like our Facebook page. Thanks for watching and have a great week, everyone.